boy, Wings of Redemption, and I'm back once again with another commentary for Persona Gaming. What the hell? Hold up a minute. Is that a TV on the side of my weapon? I must have bling on. I got a damn TV on my gun. Yeah! Oh, man. <laughs> this is the, uh, the RPD made by uh, Vasily de Rogolf. It's a nice Russian weapon that was made in 1944, but didn't see heavy production until 1953. The weapon was originally going to be used in the late stages of World War II. Um, it shortly got pulled in the st right before the 60s for uh, Mikhail Kalishnikov's RPK series. Uh, the RPK is a series knocked off of the uh, AK-47, which is the sa uses the same round as the RPD. Um, this gun was the successor of the uh, Dinner Plate Special, which was uh, Digger Rolf's... I forgot, what, I forgot what the P stood for. The DP-28. <laughs> Let's break it down like that. It's the successor of the DP-28. Uh, the DP-28 used the uh, most Nagat, which is the 7.62 Russian, as this one uses the 762 by 39 millimeter. What does it that translate to? Uh, it translates to a whole load of ass whooping, and it dishes it out in 100 round increments. Um, I've never actually used this gun with full metal jackets, but I know the extended clip has over 200 bullets. And I'd hate to see this gun with a 200 bullet clip on it. Because this thing is a monster. I mean, if it had fucking arms and a leg and it could walk, I swear to God, it would probably attack Tokyo. I mean, King of the Monsters right here. This gun is a two-shot kill from any distance with stopping power. It is a three-shot kill from any distance without stopping power. Perfectly viable with the suppressor. I mean... All you gotta do is have the grip on this motherfucker, and you, you good to go. Uh, like all light machine guns, I per prefer to use bling with it. Uh, bling lets you use the grip in another accessory. Like, uh, in this case, the heartbeat sensor. Heartbeat sensors are really, really cool with light machine guns, because you can still see the, uh, the heartbeat sensor while you're aiming down the sight. You can't see it so much with the... Uh, RPD as good as you can with the L86. L86 has a unique ACOG. You pretty much can see the entire heartbeat sensor on it at one time. I, I don't know what uh, Infinity War was doing with it. I mean, all the other, all the other uh, light machine guns I've played with have the regular rifle ACOG, but the uh, L86 has a unique ACOG, which looks pretty cool. I was hoping all the light machine guns would get it because it's more useful with the light machine guns recoil than the uh, standard rifle uh, advanced combat optical gun sight. Um, other than that, I guess we should talk about some gunplay. Well, gameplay in, the, in that mannerism. Oh, oh, one more thing. i seen your guys... Uh, Dogging on my boy, the N0045. Dude, I'm about to take his side with this. Quick scoping, that's Call of Duty 4 shit. People didn't play World at War because they couldn't really quick scope effectively. People are not, <laughs> people are going to kind of fade away in this one because you can't quick scope effectively because you don't need to do it. The fact is, everybody uses rifles at this point, and when they're usually shooting at you with a rifle, they're not spraying from the hip and they're not moving around. And all you gotta do is shoot them. It's plain and simple. All, most of the uh, bolt action rifles are more viable with things like cold blooded than they are with stopping power. Well, that's just my opinion. I prefer to use things like hard line and cold blooded other than stopping power. And all you gotta do is hit, hit them in the chest. When you got weapons like the RPD rolling around. You know, just murdering kids. Look, look at this shit. I mean, this shit would eat your fucking face, dude. It doesn't suck ass. <laughs> oh, man, they lighting me up all kinds right here. But, 
I had a kid trying to quick scope me on a state. He missed like four times. I was sitting there standing still. So you know what I did? I sprayed him down. Sprayed him like a four dollar hooker. Sprayed him down with my PP2000. My fucker died. So he come back tried to quick scope me again. So I had to spray him down again. You don't need to quick scope. I've preached this a hundred and fifty thousand times. You just it's just unneeded. Yes, it's cool. But it does not justify skill. It does not justify anything of that means. Yes, it probably requ requires more hand-eye and more uh, perception to run around and quick scope. But I don't know if y'all have caught on to this by now. If you rush on this game, you fucking die. This isn't a rushing game. <laughs> this is a more. It's more of like a real war simulator than a video game because it, it's really balanced in that aspect. And in real life, you don't run around with a bolt action rifle and try to gun a person down standing three feet away from you. You know why? Because most likely you're going home in a box. You got automatic shotguns, you got PP2000s, even other snipers ha have fully viable submachine guns they carry around as a secondary. And you're going to fucking play around and try to quick scope. I mean, more power to you if you're good at it. But you're not going to have a good KD, and if that's the only way you find the game fun, I suggest going back to Call of Duty 4 because you're going to get rocked and rocked hard. And all you're going to end up doing is cause people like me and Leonic and all, you other, all the other people in Persona Gaming to have to deal with an Apache helicopter because your ass is dying. I've preached this on my channel a million times. Every death, you, every death that happens to you, you are hurting your team. And... That's a, that's true today as it was in Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty World at War. You're gonna if you're gonna hurt your team, I don't want you on my team. I mean, it's all cool and grand if you're trying to have fun, but try to do it the most effective way you possibly can. I like to use stupid weapons like the riot shield and such, but I still, even with the riot shield, I don't rush into areas I know I'm gonna die in just so I can block bullets and be like, look, I can block bullets. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. 32 and 3 is a good score, and I'm, I'm going to defend him, because it is a good score. If it's Team Beth match 32 and 3, fantastic. I don't care if he had the hard scope for it. I, I, find, I find it's harder to hard scope a guy and hit him going across the screen than it ever is to quick scope. And if you say I can't quick scope, I mean, just look at my channel vids. Oh, this right here is pretty cool. I mean, I fucking rock this up at you. With the uh, RPD here. Look at that. I don't know if that was like an AT-12 or something to hit him but with it. Or if I just took him all down. I know the RPD generally will drop a helicopter with a full clip. But quick scoping doesn't take tremendous amounts of skill. I mean, all you're doing is throwing the scope up and center and screen. Reason I don't do it is because it's stupid. Why would I get myself that close to the action? When I could be behind something with my long distance weapon, that's what they are, long distance, that's why they have telescopic sights. And just, you know, laying a kid down. I know I'm in kind of a bitch mode right now. But think about it, dude. The snipers are not intended to fucking uh, be quick scoping machines. That's why on this game, they give snipers basically extra incentive. You get a headshot, that's 50 points. You get, um, get a long shot, that's 50 more points. You get a one-shot kill, that's 100 points. And you get the points on top of it. You can get almost 350 points per kill with a bolt-action rifle if you do it the proper way. But it's your boy, Wings of Redemption, and my banner and route. I'm signing out. Remember to uh, rate, subscribe, and comment. Sign a gaming for life, son. Yeah!